Hello there, my name is Clive Osborne. I'm from Cedar Audio in Cambridge in the USA, uh, in the UK. I don't know how I got that wrong. Um, and uh, we're here at the uh, AES show in New York. And those of you who are familiar with our products might well know the DNS2 and DNS8 hardware units for dialogue noise suppression. Well, we've got a new member of the family here, which is the DNS4. So we've sort of built upon the portability of the DNS2, but we've added it to four channels and a slight revision to the algorithm too. Uh, each channel can be separately controlled here. And you have the facilities to group channels as you had before. On the input and output side, on this side we have four analog inputs. All of them can be line level and two of them mic level with phantom power. On the other side of the unit, we've used the mini XLRs to save space in terms of what's uh, panel space on the unit. And we can come out with uh, line level XLR, analog, or we can go in and out AES digital. We've also changed the power connector compared to the DNS2 to be the small high rose connector, again, to save space on the unit. Um, as I mentioned earlier, when you come to the front panel, we have four individual channels. Each one has its own controls. And on each one, very similar to what you may know already with the DNS2, in that you have a learn function. When you activate the learn function, it will assess the noise in the room and adapt to it continuously. And the idea is you leave that on, you activate the processing, and then with this control, you can adjust your attenuation, how much noise you're gonna take out. And then the bias control, which is really how hard the uh, algorithm is working on the signal, how it's applied. So you can back that off or do it stronger. As always with these units, the latency through the product is uh, very small. It's usually less than 10 samples. And so ideal for live applications, live broadcast, anything where you don't want to have a loss of video sync or anything like that. Uh, I think that's it. Very simple unit. Uh, shipping now? It's shipping now. We showed this for the first time at the IBC in Amsterdam last month. And we've already shipped the first units uh, a few weeks ago. So yes, it's available right now. Amazing. And this complements its two-channel and eight-channel uh, family. Yeah. So it extends the range. So we now have the two-channel, the four-channel, and the eight-channel. Um, Brilliant. Uh, Jared, any, any questions from our uh, social media friends? No questions at the minute. No questions. All right. I, I wonder, I have a question. How have you guys fared during the supply chain issues? Um, well, we've been fortunate enough to kind of read ahead quite a way. So we purchased a lot of components when we could in advance. And, Normally the way we'd work is we'd build a bunch of units and as they got to the stock level got to a certain point, we'd reorder. But we're having to now reorder before we've even started selling them and, and look a long way into the future. Yes, we've had problems, we had to do some redesigns and things to compensate for a change in component, but uh, I think we've been one of the fortunate ones and we haven't really ever really run out of stock. So, and uh, as far as I can see, we've got stock for quite a way ahead. So. We've, we've been lucky or clever, whichever way you look at it. Uh, I'll take either one. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you.